G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zaboodle, and welcome back to Stranded Deep, where I've come back to finally make some honest to goodness progress. I'm a man with a plan, I've done some preparation, I'm highly caffeinated, I'm overestimated, and probably understimulated, but today is the day. I want my plane parts, and I want them now! All of that fuel stuff is just in preparation to get my seaplane up and burning as soon as I possibly can. I currently have one jerry can that's 100% full and another one that's only half full. Oh, the little icon kind of like gets dimmer as it goes down as well. I didn't notice that before. I'll take the half fuel, half full one and grab an empty one as well and quickly just empty out the fuel still. Um, well, you've got a lot in there now. Please, that happened very quickly. Give me that one and I'll grab that. So that's 50 and 50. Oh, oh no, 50 and 75. Good call going to that one then. So that means between all of the jerry cans I've got, I've got what? Uh, like 225% jerry cans? That's a terrible way to measure it. But I've got 225% fuel. That'll hopefully be enough to fuel up my, my, my seaplane. I hope it is. I only want me to find out though. Jeez, come on, Josh, keep it together. I'm so excited about today and anxious about today. I'm stumbling and tripping over all of my words. I just want today to go well. I want it to go well. I want to get my plane parts and take off back to civilization. I've got all my fingers and toes is crossed for that. The thing I'm looking for is my spare oxygen tanks. No, that one. Oh, there they are. There's 66% on you and you're empty, I guess. Okay, I'll take both of you because I want to make myself... Like, I was just gonna make myself an arse load, an utter crap load of just regular arse spears. They're just sticks, you sharpen the point, you throw them into stuff. That's gonna be enough of a weapon, right? I don't wanna make the refined spear because if I throw them and probably miss, I'm losing leather, which is actually pretty valuable. So I figure if I make a spear gun and a bunch of spear gun arrows, I have heaps and heaps of lashings out here. I've got a whole bloody pile of them, a literal bucket of bloody lashings out here, plus some more to make as well. So if I craft together a bunch of spear gun arrows, I have the spears for backup as well. And that could be a pretty good way to arm myself to all of my hen's teeth and get things cracking along. I just hope I can make it out of the empty one. But I'll try that first. I'll put the still half full one back away. Grab you. That one goes away. You're empty, I think. What else do I need? Just sticks and leather and duct tape. No whackers, knackers. Here we go. Spear gun. Craft you up. Spear gun has been stored in a backpack. That's fine. So I can't aim you. I still have a reticle, I suppose. I can't aim down the side. It's not that I'm sure why I'd want to. But that did use my empty gas can. So that's nice and lovely. Dovely, give me all but like two of you and a whole bunch of you. And why don't we grab a couple of logs as well and quickly whip up some more sticks. Thank you very much. And just get as many of these going as I can. I don't know. Who knows how this is going to turn out? Hopefully the spear gun is pretty bloody good though. And it'd want to be. It's the best weapon in the game, judging by how far down the list it is. So how many of these can I make? Stick and lashings. Chucking you on the ground, apparently. Alrighty, righty then. In that case, I might even put something away. Here, I'll chuck some more lashings down. I need all of them right now. There we go. Take you back again. What? Why? Oh, that's why. Because I was holding a lashing. Yeah, that's fine. Make another one of you and another one of you. How much do you... Ooh, five? I was going to say, how much do you stack into... This could be a much more efficient way of doing it. Rather than holding four spears in me knuckles, I can hold a billion arrows. The weather's turned, but that's okay. I've made myself 19 spear gun arrows. I have no idea if that's a lot or not that many at all, but either way, that's a good amount to me. I can also make a shitload of just regular ass spears. I've got all those boxes on my raft over there anyway, so we can just fill them up with spiky boys. Because at the very least, I suppose, I can like just yeet these things at whatever's coming for me. Hope for the best, because... I mean, listen, you turn something to this much of a porcupine, surely you're gonna do some damage. So these are all my essentials and things. Got lots of food in there, antidotes, flare guns, the whole kit and or caboodle. There's all my current spears. I'll whack in a whole bunch more of you. Can't quite fit them all in, but that's all right. We'll go to the next weapons. Got weapons one, two, and three. I was really planning on uh, not cutting any corners here. Hey, put all of you in. There we go, and that one goes in there too. Nice. All right, so between all of that, I've got half a forest to throw at something that's vicious towards me. Sure, that's going to be enough. 
And if not, I guess we'll just make some more and try again. I think everything is about as sorted as I could really have it realistically. I've used most of my resources, but that's fine. How am I looking? It's only 3 p.m. I'm not hungry, I'm not thirsty, but I'll wait until nighttime. I'll sleep, get myself well fed and hydrated, have ourselves a cheeky breakfast before I head out onto the deep dark blue. Then I spent all day sailing north. I know one of the monsties is all the way up to the north, so I'll jump on the raft, point my nose that way and see where we go. And then maybe try to find an island out there, somewhere to chuck down a TP or whatever I can do, a little like um, a shelter thing. Have a snooze, have a kick and save my game then. So when I get shredded by the monsters of the depths, I can just reload and go again. Uh, I mean, maybe even. It's, I mean, the storm's gone now. And I kind of want to use the daylight to fight monsters, right? So maybe I sail through the night. As long as the storms are there, it's just going to be sailing anyway. Don't need daylight to see how to go in a straight line. That might be the better way to do it. Give me you real quick. Go all the way up on that one. Quickly grab a couple of smoked bits of tuna of oh, this thing. Grab one of the yum. Chuck it down my gullets. All right, we're fully stacked and fully ready. Do I have any coconut flasks around? I can take some extra fluids with me. That might be a pretty good shout. But so much garbage around there. There's so much random things. There you are. Just for no reason. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the right idea. Just quickly make sure my fuel still is still going. You've got spuds. You've got sticks. And you've got space to drip into. So nice. All right. Well, no time like the present, I suppose. I've got food, water, weapons, and a highly overestimated ambition. Mmm, this isn't gonna go well. This isn't gonna go well at all, but I gotta give it a whirl. Okay, let's cook a chuck in. Uh, let's chuck into this one, I suppose. All my fluids, got my regular tools on me. That should be all nice and fine. Weapons, yes. Spear gun, yes. All right, well, jump on you. Need to drop the, the bloody sail first though, Josh. Not off to a good start. Already starting to panic. All right, we've cast off from our jetty. Let's jump off the rudder real quick and check our compass. I need to head. North. All right. No whackers. Spin you around. It handles like a bathtub. But we'll get around. We'll be fine. So head to the left of that island and then just head due north. There's not going to be much to see anyway because the sun's going to be down. Hopefully all the monsters of the deep just leave me alone till I get there. But if Willy the Whale wants to show up and guide me on my adventure, I could use a companion. You could be like my watery upper. Just have to check my heading, jump off that. I feel like the raft gets really unstable when I'm walking around on it because this is not as smooth as the glassy ocean would suggest. All right, I'm heading straight north. I need to head to the left of that island out there as well. That's all fine. I do wish there was a way for me to look at my compass while I was sailing. That would seem like a pretty handy skill. Given I got two hands, hold the rudder with one and check my direction with the other. That's fine. Sun's going down. Stars are coming out. And I'm headed on my journey. Oh, goodbye, island. I really hope I see you again. I quite enjoy living on you. It's just not fair that this game is as gorgeous as it is. You can't lull me into a false sense of security by being this pretty and be like, oh, look, it's just like a, look at a little painting you can fall into when I'm currently on my way to put my life on the line fighting a goddamn monster that for some reason is an enthusiast and a collector of ancient aeroplane parts. Can't be doing this to me. I'm getting lost in the views. <laughs> I'm about to get lost into something. Oh, God, there's an island right there. Lost into something's mouth as well. See, I'm too distracted by printing this. Almost stacked my raft immediately. You know what I should have brought? I should have brought my binoculars so I could, like, peer off into the distance and see what's going on. Oh, as we bounce all over the body shop out here. It's a roller coaster of wetness because there is something on the horizon out there. I don't know what it is. But, like, there's an island just there, which is fine. And that one is directly north. It's exactly the direction I'm heading. Look, it's right, it's right there. There is something out there. I want to know what you are before I actually stumble upon you. <laughs> Especially with, not before the sun comes up, though. This is too scary. Looks like it was just a normal shipwreck. Nothing to be too concerned about, though. It's very dark and dim and a little bit far off the island, if I'm being honest. Hold on a second, then. Can we just drop you? I mean, yeah, it's dark as anything. I can't really see what's cracking. Um... Is it worth me having a little look-see at that? Oh, there's more islands out that way. Mm, no, no, just keep on going. We'll keep on going. I do have my cartographer up, so I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be yet. We'll quickly raise the anchor again, jump back on the right arm. 
Yeah, no, I, I don't think this is the place. We'll keep on going. I'm really hoping that, like, kind of like with the with the aircraft carrier, it'll be something big and noticeable. Something that I can't confuse with just a regular shipwreck or a regular island kind of thing. Something that is, like, very obviously where I need to be. So I'll keep on heading north until I see what I'm looking for. Try and stay within ice or islands, though. There's more out that way. Because if I find the place and need to quickly hunker down and save the game, I need to find some dry land to do that. Speaking of, I've come a long way and the moon isn't getting any lower in the sky. What's the time? It's only 10 to 11? Jeez, it gets dark here quickly. All right, well, I'm going to quickly puck her up and head over to the island over there. Chuck down just one of those little canopy things, have a snooze and get through the daytime. Because if I'm getting further and further away from my house, I'm going to want daylight to see what the dick I'm doing. I'm not a brave boy when you can easily see something. Finding something scary in the dark? Nah, just, just, just nah. This island looks good enough for me. Yes, there's some horny boys around, but that's okay. I'm armed with so many spears. I'm not particularly worried about them. Oh, I am a little bit worried about the reef though. That wasn't my best move. <laughs> All right, fortunately we're just a floating hunk of sticks, so we can't really puncture a hole in anything. Okay, let's see what's around here. Maybe cut down a couple more trees, put myself some more spears as well, because it can't bloody hurts. Maybe, well, it could. I'm in pretty uncoordinated at the best of times, but that's all right. Let's get ourselves some uh, some bedding going and get through the morning. Oh, look, even found some extra spuds out here as well. I'll grab you. I may not need to get to have six farm plots growing your back home again, but I'm not going to say no to anything even potentially valuable. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Some fibrous leaves. Need a whole bunch more of you. Or a yucca tree or something, because I do need to make myself a bed. Are you anything fun? No. Oh, pine sap. That gives me sticks. That's what I'm after. Um, what do I actually need again? I need just one lashing. All right. Easy as. No wackers. So in normal form, I'll chuck down my little shelter facing back from whence I came. So I kind of know which direction I'm supposed to be heading in. You quickly save and then quickly sleep. Get through the morning. There is a part of me that's kind of tempted to see if I can go and raid one of the shipwrecks around here. Potentially find some binos or who knows what I might find out there waiting for me below the depths. But I think the wisest thing to do here is just to keep on pushing on. Oh, okay. Yep. The sun is rising and my anxiety is peaking. Where the hell are all the monsters and why am I even looking for them? You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to quickly investigate what this ship's got for me. Mostly because it's still very early in the morning and the sun's not quite up yet. I want full midday brightness if I'm getting into a battle for my life. Not with you, you muppet, nor your little bacon-y friend. Speaking of, there's a little bacon. There's probably a bigger bacon around there somewhere as well. I just want to see if I can find, particularly those binos. That will probably come in handy more than I'd like to admit. Nothing in you. Nothing in you. Nothing in you either. Is there like... Oh, there we go. There's a little crate up on the roof. Quickly grab that one and chuck it down here so we can see what's going on inside you. Um, a torch, a flare gun, and fishing spears. Um, torch might come in handy. Actually, I've got plenty of flare guns already on the boat, so not really worried about that one so much. No sharks in the water either. Quickly grab my spear out just in case, though. Hmm, okay. Didn't... Oh, mind the big purple starfish. That's how you get poisoned. I do have an antidote, but I don't want to use it that frivolously. Speaking of, actually, while I'm here, probably not a bad shout to myself some extra antidotes. Grab a little PP. Grab some extra little PP over here as well. We're just drowning in PP now. More than I even know what to do with. I only have two hands. Grab coconut and another coconut off one of these things as well. Oh, I see that slithery little serpent. Wait, is it a serpent or a stick? It's just a stick. It's fine. I'm getting way too paranoid. It's fine, Josh. Not everything... Oh, God. Not everything is out here to kill you. That thing definitely is, though. Keep your tusks out of me spine, you big galloping BLT. Go away. Quickly have a squeeze at this little ship as well. Aim for the bars. Hold space bar. It gets you up and on board. I finally learned how to play this bloody game. Ooh. Two full O2 tanks. Not going to say no to that one. Thank you. On oh, binos. That's what I was coming for. That's what I was hoping for. And the gods of Stranded Deep have delivered. All right, Nate is taking the piss. Nate is taking the piss. I wanted one. I found two. Thank you, almighty gods. Please don't use that as an excuse to shove me into the depths and have me murdered. You don't ever have good things. I don't know. I might pay for that very shortly. I think we're about as ready to go as we're going to be. I don't like the look of the skies at the moment, but... 
Well, it's gonna have to risk it for that rather scary biscuit. We can craft a lashing, craft a coconut flask, and the extra antidotes. Chuck you away into there, both of them. Nice. Okay. This is looking much better. O2 tanks, the spy glasses, and a torch always handy to have. Alright. How do you work? Um. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can squint, tactical squints, and see what we're dealing with. What direction is that? Where's my compass? I'm, all I know is I have to head north. But that's northwest. I mean, it's rendered in from a long way away, so it might be important. Probably worth me having a gander at. Grab you, grab you. Let's set set sail again. Don't just get set adrift on the bloody currents. Oh, I've been that. I've been that horrendously. The sun's gone behind a big old cloud over there, which is not making me feel great. It was northwest, wasn't it? That's where I'm heading. Can I still see the thing? We're just bobbling around a whole bunch. Gotta go left. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's that's no fun at all. Gotta go left a little bit. Okay, let's hold on to our spears just in case. Grab the rudder. Go that way. There is another island out there as well, but there's something in between. Why aren't you attached to an island, though? I thought I was looking for an island. Uh-oh. My stomach's getting all kind of, like, tense and stuff. I feel like bad things are coming my way. I did save it over there, didn't I? Yes, I definitely did. All right, well... <laughs> oh, please don't be too bad. Please just, just give me the aircraft part. You know, whatever you are, whatever's waiting for me, I'm only here for plane parts. You don't need it. You're a sea creature. Unless you're a bloody flying fish, stay where you are. You're not going in the air anytime soon. I'm scared. Oh, there's sharks in the water, but there's no music. It's all very quiet. Can Listen, Sharky, I'll feed you all the fish you could possibly dream of if you just give us a helping hand. Look, we, we can tag to whoever's waiting for me, you know? I've got spears, you've got teeth, shiny things abound. What the... What the heck is this? Use my sweet spyglass. Oh my god, it's like a... <gasps> Willy! Willy the whale's been murdered! No! <laughs> my poor friend! I will avenge your death, Will! Don't you bloody worry about it, you gigantic baleen bitch! Damn it! Well, is that the thing I've got to murder? Or is this just like a random event? I don't see any aeroplane parts attached to you, so I'm not really sure. Um... Okay, listen. Hold on. Hold on a jiffy. Let me just quickly chuck away me old goggles. You go away. Uh, I need to put my compass away as well. And probably the extras I'm holding. You can just go into there, actually. Don't need you. Don't need you. Give me all of that. Give me my spear gun. All of the arrows as well. Because if I'm about to pick a fight with something big and toothy, I'm going to need a lot more than what I've got. Is there a way I can get like a better view of this? This maybe wasn't the best idea, given that I'm in the middle of nowhere. Maybe being in the water with a shark, not your best idea. What if I just go over and bonk him? How about that? Let's jump onto you. Jump onto that. Let's get over nice and close. Can I get, like, stealth attack damage? Can I shoot him with a spear gun from point blank and just make this a very short battle? Oh, God. What? The Meg. I mean, you don't look like a Megalodon. Oh, I've interrupted his feeding time, though. Look at Will. Oh, he's had such bad times. Cop that right in the chin. I mean, listen, if I just turn you into a watery, por watery porcupine, either, even, is that going to work? I've got so many spears on me. I don't mind donating them all to your cause. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, I've got a little, a little orange marker that's floating about me, Noggin. Which is all well and good. Where's the shark, though? There he is. I wonder if there's a way I'm supposed to be doing this that isn't just shoving a bunch of needles into my little friend here. I mean, I was throwing a lot into him. But should I have brought, like, something else? Should I have, like, upgraded my raft to have, like... Oh, that's a shit shot. To have, like, concrete or something rather than just metal and wood and a couple of plastic boys underneath? I'm not sure. Maybe I've half-assed this. Burning through spears. Let's try the spear gun. 
Oh, look at you, though. Look how many things you have attached to you. Next time you make a run at me, I'm ready to gouge you out your eyes. Rolling back your eyelids ain't going to help you now. Oh, there we go. So he's at like a quarter health. I have a health bar for him. Oh, and I can aim down the sights on my spear gun. Nice and lovely. All right, there you are. Right. Then, do headshots matter? Do headshots ever do extra damage? I don't know. It's also weirdly hard to aim. Am I using the front post? Am I using the dot? I don't know which is my actual reticle, but we'll see how we go. Let's go like uh, that. Bit of range on the man. All right, this is fine. Oh, yeah, we're taking him down now. This is good. I like that I can see where he is because of all the splinters sticking up out of the water. He's down to a third of his health now. I do want to grab some of my possessions back out of here, though, if you wouldn't mind bringing them closer again. Look, it's like reverse acupuncture. You know, I stick it all in to cause your damage to make you feel better by pulling it back out again. It's fine, no, I won't even charge. The payment could be my own shit coming back to me. It's like playing fetch with a poodle in the water. Oh, not now. Not now. He's so close to dead, I don't need a storm to come and cause havoc for me now. I need the well, waves to be nice and low, glassy surface, nice and stable. I shouldn't be trusted with a spear gun at the best of times, let alone floundering about on a bunch of bobbly things. Where's he even gone? I can't even see him anymore. The surface is so hard to see through. It's opaque as dicks. Where the hell has he gone? It just had to go this way, didn't it? Had to go this way. Couldn't have a nice, easy fight with the Megalodon. Had to fight a gigantic shark in a storm. <laughs> I, can't, I can't find the sodden fish. Where the hell has he gone? What I need to do is not panic, which is not normally in my wheelhouse. I'll do my best not to just panic and get impatient and jump into the water. While I'm on relatively dry land, I have the advantage. I've got all the weapons, I've got all the spears, I've got the spear gun. Surely I'll be okay. I just need to sight the Todger, and then we'll be okay again. I keep seeing things that aren't him, though. How is how is this so hard to fight? It's a gigantic toothy shark. What, what the shit? Oh, jeez. I just realized I'm super thirsty as well. That's my weapons. I will quickly grab. I'll just grab a ration. I've got plenty of rations already. Grab you. Chuck you in. That did a good thing for me. Also, grab a couple of coconuts and quickly have a slurp of you as well. Slurp, slurp. And slurp, slurp. That's got me back up and happy again. Chuck you guys back away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> back to the task at hand of the shark murder. Enough snacks for now. Oh, there he is. No wonder I couldn't see him. He's literally just a shadow in the waves. Okay, what am I going to do this then? If I turn you on, is that going to light him up a little bit? He's actually just a ghost. A ghost in the dark water. A black silhouette on the black depths. No wonder I couldn't see the bastard. His body activated his body cloaking device like he's a goddamn elite. Where are you? Where are I? Um, show me the shadow again. I'll be prepared this time. Oh, jeez. I just realized there's a red tinge to the clouds. The sun's going down. Um, all right. Well, I can't. Oh, it's. Oh, my God. Um, that. How bloody deep am I? How deep am I? Please get to the surface. Please go back to my raft. Okay, getting in the water. Horrendous idea. Oh, God. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you very much. Coming back up onto the dry stuff again. Okay, let's not do that again. Yes, he's almost dead. We can wait out the night. We can wait out the storm. That was a horrendous idea. If you knew it was too, I saw him in the thunderclap. That's ominous as shit. This is so scary. The waves have finally started to subside. So can I see him now, please? Or is now that it's dark, I can never see anything ever again? Oh, that's just the whale. Okay, that's all right. What about, what do I have to do this? If I grab you... I go like this. I want to put you on number one on me belt. Put you on number two. There we go. So I can hold this. And then when I see the shark, quickly change and fire. Right? Will that work? Probably bloody not. Actually, no. A better idea. Put you back on there. Didn't I grab in one of these boxes a torch? That seems like a much better idea. Grab you. Grab my torch out. All right, now we're on the hunt. You thought you had the advantage before. You did what I didn't have me flippers on. Now I'm coming for you, though. Yeah, see, there you are. There you are, in the darkness. Gotcha. Okay, it's not a great plan, but it's a better plan than I've had before. 
There you are, coming straight for me. Still got all the spears in you as well, which is good, so I can hopefully get some of my stuff back. Right there. Oh, you're in trouble now, Jigglypuff. You're in a lot of trouble now. Oh! Oh, he's gone! He's gone! His cactus is cooked! Weapons, chuck all of you back into there. Put all of my stuff away. Nice, nice, nice. In fact, I'll put... I'll grab a couple of spears and chuck away my spear gun and whatnot before he sinks to the depths. You, hold on to that. Okay. Uh, torch. Out. Where are ya? Where are ya? I know you're here somewhere. Where did you go? Where did you go, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> do I not get all my stuff back? Don't do this to me. Don't tell me you sank that quickly. You had so much stuff in you. No! I am upsetting Spurgetty about that. I thought for sure I could raid his corpse and get all my spears back. All my spear gun ammo is gone now as well. Oh, Will, they've done a number on you there, Superstar, haven't they? So how do I get my aeroplane part then? Please someone wasn't like stuck in the Megalodon's jaws or something I was supposed to get him before he sank because he went very quickly. Where's... How do I... How do I get it then? Wait, what? Oh, okay. So it's not something I was supposed to get off Willy's corpse. It was just something that I can craft myself. So, okay. What do you actually need then? What? Nothing? Um, okay. What about you? No, just trophies. So, like, do I just craft them from nothing? Uh, okay. Well, it's night time. So quickly got to just jump back in my raft and head back to the island I just slept on. <laughs> Up we go. Actually, before I go, can I just make it now? You story craft. The trophy has been stored in your backpack. I oh there. <gasps> Look at that, lovely darling. Look how you can go into there. So does that mean I can also go? Uh, building vehicles. Although in that case, I may as well just craft it when I get to the airplane, right? Save myself an inventory space. Okay. Nah, I can't resist. I can't resist. I got the storage space. Chuck you on. Chuck you in. Run apart. Happy bloody days. One boss down. Three, two to go. All right. Well, catch you later, Will. You're just confined to the depths now. But I'm sure we'll have some sharks going to keep you company before too long. Oh, Will, as thick as that. Man, there's enough meat there to satisfy anyone who shows up for a bit of fun. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna head back to my island, have a snooze, have a save, pat myself on the back for a job well done, then take off for the next bossy boy. We've been productive. We've been productive. We might leave today. This might be the final episode. I'm coming into the bad angle here, so it's gonna kind of drift it into the peninsula, just kind of like that. That'll do. That's probably close enough, I reckon. Well, that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Easy as a squishy that's all bloody syrup. Nice, nice, nice. You save, sleep, and then I'll break it down in the morning to take it with me. Then we'll go and pick a fight with another boss battle or something. Now we know. You kill the monster, you craft the aeroplane part, and everybody's happy as some sort of fish called Larry. Oh, brand new day. I can't believe I got away with that. I jumped in the water, in the water with a Meg. Oh, that was silly. And then I dragged me out of the bottom of the ocean too. I was very nearly very dead. So I deliberately went for the boss that was furthest away from my home island. So I don't need to go north anymore. I need to head kind of west-southwest, kind of like about the 250 mark. I think right about there. It's going to do a cheeky U-banger on the old rafty boy. But there's an easy way to do that. We'll raise the sail. Get my old mitts out. My old meat hooks. Go like that. Can I get back on some land, please? There you go. Spin around my raft with my superhuman strength like it's bloody nothing. Point you in the right direction. There we go. Up we get. Drop the sail and away we go. Look at that. Easy as you like. Off on a new adventure. Oh, the weather's starting to change again. Am I still heading in the right direction? I need to go to the right of that island, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, about close enough. But I'll tell you what. I just couldn't have survived in the Golden Age of Sail. It's too monotonous and too boring. There's nothing going on. Admittedly, I do have the attention span of one of the sardines floating about down there, but it's just not, it's just not working out for me. Cabin fever is ravaging all aboard. This once-proud vessel has become a floating sucker. What? There's something on this island just here, I just noticed. It's not what I'm actually looking for, but there's like a... Someone's been here. It's a sign of civil well, civilization, but a sign of another human being that I haven't seen in a hot minute. I'll just like drop you off here. 
What is this? Oi! Is oh no, the crabs have got him. The crabs have got him. Look at a skeleton left over. That must be what those crabs are making their shells out of. The bones of their conquests. You can have that, you can have that, and all of that. This sort of I need to make myself a um uh what's it called? A uh, shelter when I get to the next place. I'm losing the ability to talk. Compass, that's fine, you stay with me. Let's go have a squiz at this. What's going on? What have you got? Oh. Oh. That is definitely the bones of someone who came before. Oh, what? Oh, come on. What'd you even die of? You got food, you got a flask, you've got binos, flare guns, lots of valuable things in here. Actually, I'll take that. Oh, I don't leave the rest of that behind. But come on, you got to do better than that. That's a poor effort to die with a bountiful harvest on your back doorstep. Oh, I'm sorry to say, Jeffrey, you're just going to have to spend the rest of your days cuddling your fishing spear because I can't really bury you, though. In fairness, you're mostly buried already. I can't believe there's actually bones there, though. I definitely wasn't expecting to find any bones. I like it, though. That's really cool. Nice little shelter as well. Oh, well, listen. There wasn't anything good for you out there anyway. Even if you could find the bloody plane that I found, what were you going to do? Find a megalodon? You couldn't handle the elements. How are you going to handle a big fish with teeth? You just weren't going to do it. So let's keep on carrying on. It's just after midday. I'm a little bit thirsty. Do you have a couple of coconuts just in case? I don't think... Oh, do you have any fluids left in you? Got one there. Oh, old man potato had water in his coconut. Oh, well. Cheers, knackers. Thanks for the help. I thought for a second, I, I thought I saw a house in the middle of this body of iron. I was like, have I made it all the way back to my home island? But no, it's okay. Make over the sandbar. Lovely. Drop you down just there. Right. Where are we? What are we looking at? Is there anything on the horizon that I can spy with my spyglass that might show me where I've got to go? Uh, ooh, there's another island out there. That's okay. Good to know. Mm, no, doesn't look like it. Let's keep going on then. Wouldn't mind a quick little gander around here though just to see what's cracking. I mean, I'm doing okay. Things are going well for me. I just don't want to pick a fault with things that I have to. Like that sorry son of a bitch over there in the grass. I'm just going to have a little bit of an explore of this island. Because if I can make a little base here and then go and scout out these waters. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I've just headed in the general direction for a while. And no idea if I'm close or far away. I was hoping to spy it off the coast. Like what I did... Like that little bubble, just something to suggest there's something out there on the horizon. Like when I saw the whale car, because before I realized what it was, I thought it was just like another shipwreck or something. That's what I'm really looking for, but there's not really anything out there for me at all. Another island out that way. Some cloth, right? That's good. Maybe make myself a water still or something, given that I am burning through my water at a rather frightful pace. There's just, there's just nothing. Damn it, where am I supposed to be going? Oh, some rations in you. Thank you, don't mind if I do. And... Ooh, more rations. Fuck yeah. All righty, right, then. Quickly check this little shipwreck out here as well. Finding lots of good things to keep me alive. What are you doing? More rations again. Like, I was starting to gather some cloth and whatnot to maybe make myself some more water distilleries to fill up my coconuts and carry on. I might still do that, actually. I have no idea what island I'm on or where I'm supposed to be going. But maybe just bunkering down and taking a breath for a heartbeat wouldn't be such a shocking idea. Yeah, look, the sun's well set. So I might just have to quickly set up shop on this little island. What do I need? Water still is a palm, uh, some stones, and a flask. Okay, that's relatively easy to do. I have to put some of this stuff away. Just free up my inventory. But it actually puts out my shelter, which wouldn't be a bad shout either. You... That's all my shelter stuff. So take all of that and just quickly whack you down right on the beach here. Can't see shit, but that's okay. I have no idea what direction my home is. I, I assume like that way, kind of. I've got, I haven't got a sausage of a clue. Let's go find ourselves a coconut and some stones. We're going to need another torch to do that, which is in here somewhere. Take one of my spare lanterns that I found. All right, let's find the last of this stuff, set up a bit of a camp, and get cracking on. Prepare ourselves for the next stage of our adventure. Put the water still right next to my little shelter just there. That's all good. Grab a couple of you, add some fiber. That's going to take a little bit of time to get sorted, but that's okay. That'll get four coconuts worth of fluids in, yeah? Just to keep myself nice and happy in the long term. 
rest of this stuff can all go away. I might need to, given that bloody Megalodon decided to just up and shit itself into the water and disappear with all of my valuable gubs still stuck into its gills, I might need to spend a bit of time on this island just like remaking all of my spears, all of my spear gun ammo as well. Because while I still have a fair bit of it left over, well, he was like thir 13? 13 spear gun arrows? Jeez, I'm going to need some more of that then for sure. You're still fine. And a bunch of spears as well. I think actually I might make, what, five more spears, have an entire box of spears, and just focus on getting a whole shitload of spear gun arrows up and crafted as quickly as possible. Because somewhere out there is another big monster, and I need lots more things going my way before I can fight it. Just quickly whizzed up a couple of spears, so I now have that full box of pointy things in there. Uh, my spear gun ammo can go with my spear gun. Chuck you in. So what do I need? I need to make... Oh, I need a bunch of lashings. That's the only problem, is that spear gun ammo takes a bunch of lashings too. Maybe if I stay on this island for a little bit, or even go and like hit up one of the neighboring islands, which I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere around here. Go and find another island for some yucca trees and whatnot, and really get some more lashings cracking on. Uh, I can also probably make myself another, like, Lansing stand, or I can just, like, chuck you there. That'll work. That'll work fine. So I think today was a success. We fought a Megalodon. We have aircraft runners and the trophy as well. So I've got two more bosses to fight, and then we can leave. But I'm going to have to go and prepare for the next battle, then come back and murder whatever the monster is waiting for me in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you are liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.